What's up, Mirits? Hello, and welcome back to another Wednesday video. Today, we're checking out a demo of one of the games from uh, Steam Next Fest called Sabo. It looked really, really good, and I'm actually really excited about the full game itself, so I will be following development. So let's press any button to start and see what's up. Ooh. The style of the game is really good. I think this is called Wireframe, if I'm not mistaken, I may be mistaken. You dudes can correct me in the comments if I am. Okay. It's a disgusting bug, I hate it. Am I playing? Is this a cutscene? What's happening? <gasps> it's a boy! Actually, no, I'm not... Not sure what that is. I don't think it's human. Why? What is that? Alright. Am I missing an- No, I'm just having- I have my arm on my leg. I thought I was missing an arm. Alright, so I am... Praying to the face on the wall. I guess. Oh, and there I go, I have stood up. Quest started the ceremony. Wow, okay. Moving Sabo. Also, Sabo is my name. That's cool. Alright. Uh, how do I open the quest log? Hello, face. Wow, okay, I can climb face. Face, I'm so sorry that I'm doing this. Can I climb every surface in this? Oh, man, I'm dead. Okay, I'm alive. So... This game, in a way, reminds me of uh, Journey, and there was like another one, but I can't remember which was underwater. Yeah, that one. Alright. <gasps> Whoa! Does that remain open? Oh, I'm sprinting. Jumping. Ha! Aha! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> climbing. Move through to what to begin climbing. Pfft, I already did that, dude. You thought I ain't got shit on me, man. Alright, I climbed. Now oh, what? Cloud doors. I heard the... Uh, I heard the... I can see through the... Wow, okay, bop, 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 stop. I think I'm supposed to climb this ladder. You dudes reckon that's it? Alright, let's do it. So this game is gonna have full controller support at some point, I guess, but right now, it only has partial controller support, which is why I'm playing with keyboard and mouse. And the mouse sensitivity is kind of weird. Ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah! Dude, just take a second to, like... Take it in. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be honest, the, the graphics of the game kind of caught my eye. What? Oh, jumpy! <laughs> sprinting. No, I already did that. I can only sprint while I have enough stamina. Uh, wh where am I going? I mean, it said something about a quest log. Oh! <gasps> what? Child's mask? What kind of masks are children into in this universe? It's terrifying. Ibexi children... Am I a child? Ibexi children top. Ibexi trousers. Okay, so as it would seem, there are different things that you can uh, equip further on into the game. There's bike parts. Yes. But I assume that's not in the demo yet. So we have a full-fledged inventory, a map, god damn that world is big, if that's the whole thing. And obviously we have this, alright, camera sensitive, no, you know what, I'm not gonna touch it. Alright, quest log. Quest. Quest log. Why is it skipping it? There we go, I did it. The ceremony, I should head back to camp. Alright. I assume that's where the fire is, probably. So was I just randomly exploring some, uh... Oh, Ebex camp, and I am tired. And now I'm done. Was I just randomly exploring some ruins by myself? If I'm a child, that doesn't sound like a very good idea, you know what I mean? I see a person. Person, hello? Yeah, okay, n not necessarily rock climbing. There's like ruins over there as well. Alright, I did up the camera sensitivity a little bit because good lord, that shit was slow. I assume that it is meant to be played with a controller, but again, that's not in-game. Yet. But what's happening? Alright, I'm looking at things. 
Ok, tower. I already saw my brother in sheep. I can feel Juddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. So, that guy had like a robotic leg, so is this like um, vintage sci-fi? Like steampunk and whatnot? Cause like, the, but they also all wear masks, that is curious. And you know I love me a mask, baby. Mm. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet, I know, I know, I'm not worried. Why Why do I have to be worried? I'm just gonna say I know, I know, I'm gonna go medium. I tell Jody that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. You pretentious little shit. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. Oh god. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly there you were. You sat down. You learned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. We did it, Netflix. Strong, independent women. Let's go. I'm all about that. Mm -mm. 2021, baby. Jari reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. <gasps> Breathing in, shaping up the chemicals. Wow. I changed my mind. I'm staying. <laughs> Lol, get fucked. I don't know where to start. Alright, I think I'm ready. I thank Jari for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. You need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Nice. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful it is as it is fun, hmm? What does that mean? I think I might suspect what Jari is saying, but I stay quiet. I don't. Expect what? After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? Nah, let's be courageous. I'll be back soon. I tell Jody I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. It's also becoming nighttime. I tell her that. That's why I'm so eager to make it, to choose well and quickly, so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Ah, uh, okay, choosing well so that you don't go too far down the wrong path I get, but quickly? Okay, whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. I love using other people as excuses. Now go speak with Hilal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I don't think you spell artifact with an E, I think it's with an I. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. It is a compass of the future. Thank you, Jody. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. I need to complete tasks for Hilau and Driss. Compass, hold button. Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so this is Hilal. What's up, dude? Is me, your girl, Sabo. Oh, what's up? Oh, dude, he's the fucking too cool for school kid. He 
He's got a really cool mask with giant horns and a robo leg. As I approach Hilao, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilao's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Vinny Vidi Vici, dude. Tabo, take this. Gliding stone. Hilal hands me a small round stone as it nestles into my palm. I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and I find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? It didn't bring anything for you. <laughs> what is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Hilal what this is. Oh, Sabo, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Electricity? I mean, she did say electric. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. What? I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty, or dormant, and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Lal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Lal stops me. Oh, you haven't got your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jari's words now and tell Hilao I'll go and see Driss. I mean, game, there's like, literally talk to three people in this demo. You don't need to patronize me so fucking much, you know? Alright, here I go. Bu -bu -bu. I'm pretty sure that that is Hilal, so lol. No fall damage. Love me games like that. Dude, there's something glowing red in the distance. I'm not sure I appreciate that. What's up, Drisco? Hey, yo, what's up? Can I step on all your shit? Lol, lol, lol. Holy crap, is that my bike? Dude, this is some Star Wars shit, I love it. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's... Oh, I can do not to race up to Driss. What? What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Sabo, um, um, hello. H hello, how are you today? I was told you have something special for me. Uh, Jerry sent me to speak with you? Question mark? Did she? What about? But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. Ask Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. Um, <laughs> That was uh, meant to... That I um, prepared for you because today is your... um Gliding. Um, yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right, yes, yes, I uh, do have that, um... My blood runs cold, has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Uh, well, it's um, <coughs> sort of a tutorial for you. What? Did you forget? I'm telling you I didn't forget, I just made different uh, uh, arrangements. You see, Sabo, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by um, taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. Ah, he's lying his fucking teeth out, bro. So, instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. Quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if ever I've seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yes, good, good. Be gentle, though. This sand cutter's older than Jari, and she's fucking old. Treat her with respect. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off, or you'll fucking suffocate and die. Lol, let's do it. I'm ready for some gameplay, dude. Whoa, okay. Accelerate, strafe, steer, and get off. <laughs> Beep, 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 This is really slow. I did, like, this was not what I was expecting. Strafing is weird, and the fact that it is marked with, like, a whistle is really off-putting. I don't know, man. What did I just hear? I heard, like, noise. Like, fucking ethereal chiming and whatnot. What, what, what was that? Here I go. Whoosh. See? 
I didn't fall off. I did it. I activated the Surkli. I returned to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sabo, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire. <laughs> Even a little bit. Yeah, what? Absolutely. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Chris, is this bike dangerous? Well, um... He doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hilal? Oh, right. What? I already... But I... The fuck I... What, wasn't I? Wasn't that Hilal? I'm pretty sure it was. Nearly forgotten about Hilal and thank Driss for the reminder before. Please nudge him a little about the bike. I ask if uh, I'll still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you too. Help you out with more of that, uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help in his bike and I depart for Hilal. So, this is in fact my bike. Okay, well, I guess it's better than nothing, bruh. Follow quest. There we go, Whispering Stone. So now if I do this... Aha! Alright, let's go. I guess I'm going towards that horrible red thing in the distance. Sure, I'm sure that's not terrifying at all. Oh, I'm not going to the big red bad. I guess I'm going somewhere here. Whoa, boy. Was this a bad move? Oh, God. Somehow I made it. Oh. It should be that. That's the temple, right? I like the smoke. The smoke looks really dope. Okay, hopefully I can climb here. Mm, I wonder if this is a good idea. Maybe I should go by foot the rest of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Climb B. I should be able to climb all of this, right? I mean, it didn't exactly give me a precursor to... Like certain surfaces that I can and cannot climb. Yeah, apparently I can climb every single surface. That is an interesting gameplay choice. I did it. What the hell are you? Mothman? Question mark? Alright, doors glowing. Must be the right place. Why? Is this supposed to be darkness or am I just... What the fuck? Am I dead? Am I like alone? Alright, I guess I'm going here. I am a little bit frightened, but I think I'm good. Okay, that pathway over there is lit up, which probably means that's where I gotta go, so let's do that. Beep, 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 beep. Hello. Whoa. Okay. <gasps> Cutscene. Dude, the f use of like two or three colors max in like the darkness is kind of weird, but I like it. The stone... Trumps like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid, exhilarated, or maybe it feels right? I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. What does any of this even mean? Oh, it's glowing red! I don't know. Well, okay. What is Rohana? Um... Alright, that's certainly a lot of color. What is going on? Am I waking an Eldritch Terror? It's a... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, okay. Um, um... Uh, is this supposed to be how it is? What just happened? Am I alive? Is it suddenly morning? What is it? What, what's with the... Okay. Um... Guess I'm going on a trip. Am I alive? Whoa. Okay, I'm alive. And the stone is glowing. It's back in my hand somehow. Are we good? Am I possessed now? 
All right, I'm gripping it tight. Probably means I feel the power. Oh, okay. Uh, press and hold space to glide in midair. Yeah, okay. What? <laughs> so now I can just... Activate a goddamn force field and fly? Oh, baby, I love it. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but I'm going here. Nah. -uh. Climb it. I did it. Ha! Ha! Uh -uh. Alright, I guess I'm supposed to walk this path to go back to the place where I fell from. Ha! Uh -uh, fly! Yes! Shit, I almost died. Spider girl. Spider girl. Does whatever Spider Man does. But better. Alright, here we are, we made it. What's up, Mothman? Now I see why Mothman is up front, because I learned to fly. I'm supposed to show it to Gilal. Oh wait, it was Hilal, right. Does this have... No, I'm just literally gliding forever. Doesn't have like a cooldown or a time limit. Okay, get on the bike. Am I dead? Still alive. So far what I'm getting out of the story of this game, it kind of feels like a, like a rite of passage, you know? Our girl Sabo over here has like reached a certain age or maybe finally decided to take the rite of passage and like into like adulthood. And I guess this is the, the ceremony for doing so. Okay, almost broke it, I'm soz. I wonder if the people in my camp are gonna get at least like a little bit worried that I suddenly I can just create a force field. What is all this? Whoa, what? Seems like a bike workshop. This is where Drisco should have been, but no. It was over there in the goddamn scrapyard and gave me a piece of shit for a bike. But like, whatever. I'm not even mad. Maybe I am, just a little bit. Hey, yo, what's up, Hilal? Too cool for schoolboy? What's up? When I return to Hilal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Oh. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Uh, strange. I'm a little queasy. Safe, like a warm bug. Oh, it says hug, not bug. Whoops. Well, I'm gonna say that because it sounds cute. I tell Hilal that I feel almost embraced by the Perpetual. I love that something in this game is called the Perpetual. That sounds amazing. Such a nice word to use for, like, an entity. Warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Klaus mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there, heaving myself into chasms. Okay, Jesus, is that how you lost your leg? I'll heave myself into chasms for you. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. I tell Hilal I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Is it more than just gliding? Hilal laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if uh, it were all gains and no loss, hmm? What does that mean? What am I paying? Like, what is the price here? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. Ooh, tragic backstory. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sabo. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about the ritual and independence and all of that out there, but... The world's an easier place if you put joy first. That's a nice sentiment. I can appreciate it. I thank Hilal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance. All in one. Yep. I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, Hilal gestures toward the tower. It seems Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Alright, well, uh, this demo is a lot longer than I anticipated, so I guess the developers of this game have, if not a finished, then an almost finished product. But this is where I will be ending today's video. 
And these are my first impressions of Sable. Uh, let me know what you dudes think down below in the comments about the game and whether you want to see more of it. Uh, if enough of you want to see more, I may even record the remainder of the demo for next Wednesday. You can also find the link to Sable down below in the description, so go check out the demo and the game for yourself if you want to. And I think I'm definitely gonna be following the development of the game and play it when it comes out in its full version. If you did enjoy and you haven't done so yet, please leave a like, it is very much appreciated. All the usual stuff as always is down below in the description, like this subscribe button, the bell icon, join button, twitter, discord, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, that'll be that. Thanks a lot for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.